Okay, we're gonna work on white alcohol ink and blending solution and creating wispies. So a lot of very nice light movement is what we're looking for. Here we go. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence, and I'm doing another Alcohol Link Basics, uh, specially formulated around whites. Uh, whites seem to be a tricky color to mess around with. So I got my um, supply of alcohol blending solution in from Amazon. Yay, really happy about that. Um, and so we're gonna work on some of this glossy paper to show you uh, wispies. Um, and it does utilize a quite a bit of this blending solution in order to obtain that. Um, you can use either a straw or a airbrush, dryer, um, heat iron, whatever you need. Well, I don't know if you want to call it heat iron or heat gun or I don't know. But anyway, if it blows some warm air, that is going to be helpful for you. Or if it just blows air, period. That'll be helpful as well. Probably have a little bit more working time if it's just blowing straight air with no heat in it. So, let's get started. All right, I mentioned this on a couple of my other videos, but I definitely want to explain this here. Um, the solution is a little bit thicker. It does have a tendency to go down to the bottom. So if you are using either the Blanco Blanco or the Snow Cap, which are like a mixative, Make sure you shake it up really, really good. They'll have balls in there to help out with the mixing process. Um, but yeah, you need to do that before you get started. And also, since I'm using their large bottle, I will use also a pipette, little disposable plastic pipettes um, for getting the, I might need another one, it looks like it's plugged up, <laughs> for getting the uh, ink out of the bottle. So yeah. That also helps out. Okay, so the first step we're gonna do is give us a blanket of blending solution so that we can have these particles move nice and freely. What I'm looking for is an effect like this. And even though this area is like this big, I will have blending solution much larger so that way those particles can blend out completely. If you don't, you end up with areas where you can have hard lines, uh, soft bits, and then, you know, some resemblance of some hard lines. If that's what you want, then that works out just fine. If you make a, a, a puddle very similar in size to your ink, you can have a definite defined shape. And this was a mixture that was a uh, pre-diluted white in a bottle. And so when I added it, it on directly, I definitely had defined lines. And it just depends on what effect you're looking for with your particular alcohol ink painting. So well, I'm gonna just show you how to get some nice wispies in combination with several other ones. So. Tilt that around and grab some ink with my pipette. Make a mess with my pipette. If you find that some of the solution is drying before you want it to dry, you can simply add a little bit of blending solution on your either edge. So that way you have the time to manipulate how you want to manipulate it. Give me a hard edge there and I'm not happy about it. So I add a little bit more blending solution. And 
Now eventually you will get some sort of forms that will develop just through how the area will dry. Like this area might dry faster than this area and then this area might dry in the middle. So eventually you're gonna end up with some shapes. So keep on playing with it. I'm gonna do a couple more in here. Just some little ones. Got a lot of fingers on that one, so I'm going to add some more blending solutions, see if I can soften out those fingers. can keep playing with the blending solution only. Reactivate the white a little bit. Soften up some of those lines. Maybe work with this until we get shapes that we like or desire. Play with this some more here. As you saw here, that little puddle that I made wasn't quite large enough, so it started encapsulating the entire puddle. Now, if I want to soften an edge up, I just simply add some more blending solution around that edge. And then what I do is I work the, the solution back and forth to soften the edge up. Now this uh, glossy paper is really great for playing and learning these techniques with low, low price. Um, however, it, when it does get saturated with a solution or something like that, it does make the paper a little soft. So be mindful when you're putting your fingers down that you might be able, it might transfer up some of the black onto your fingers. So that's a potential problem. Okay, so now that we have a piece that is, uh, say I'm happy with this piece, I like the wispiness, I like the layers that are going on in the shapes, uh, I would recommend that you make sure that this is dried thoroughly before you go to any next step if like you want to add color to it. Um, and that way you're not into any kind of problems. So it's hard to tell sometimes. I'm going to try a little bit more. And I 
think we're good now. So let me bring you in for a close up. All right. So that is how you work with white alcohol ink and creating a nice soft edges and overlapping edges. You will get some lines, it's inevitable, but you'll have a lot of wispiness to you. So you can also do this with uh, straws. So that's another application. I just happen to use a travel iron. It's my thing. All right, have some fun. the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.